Woman that flatlined for 27 minutes had an eerie message once she came back to life. The scariest thing about life is not knowing what will happen tomorrow. We might think we still have a lot of time left on this planet to achieve our goals and make our dreams come true. Unfortunately, tomorrow is not guaranteed for anybody. Tina Hines from Arizona was happily married with children. She lived an exciting life and was always looking forward to tomorrow. Sadly, one day while hiking with her husband, something unexplainable had happened to her and she flatlined for 27 minutes. After waking up from a coma, she shared a strange message with her family. Tina Hines was married to her husband, Brian, for more than 30 years, and they had several children. The Hines family was loved by all of their neighbors and friends for their kindness and optimism. Tina and her husband lived an active, healthy lifestyle, but despite all the precautions, one day, her body gave up. Hiking was one of Tina's favorite activities. It brought joy to her life, so every weekend, she and her husband would go on a short hike nearby. Little did she know how this innocent activity would affect her life, the horrible accident took place on February 12, 2018. It was a warm, sunny day, and Tina was looking forward to spending the day with her husband outside. They wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather and came up with a solid plan. They made a plan to go on a hike near Phoenix where they were originally from. Unfortunately, things didn't go exactly as planned from the very beginning. When Tina and her husband reached the destination, they were stunned by the beautiful views around them. It was truly one of the most beautiful sights they had ever seen. They were both excited to begin their big adventure. After half an hour of walking uphill, Brian heard a loud sound behind him. Thinking it could have been a rock or a tree, he immediately turned around to check it out. His wife was lying on the ground, completely unconscious. Tina wasn't responding to him, and the worst of all, she wasn't breathing either. Brian was horrified. Just a few seconds ago, they were chatting and laughing together, and now his beloved wife was unconscious. What could have happened to her? Brian acted quickly and contacted emergency services. Luckily, he was able to get cell phone reception in the area and prayed they would arrive soon. In the meantime, Tina was in critical condition and Brian didn't know if she would make it. The firefighters arrived shortly after the call. Tina stayed immediately worried them as she didn't appear to be lively at all. The emergency team didn't have high hopes for her recovery, but they didn't want to give bad news to her worried husband just yet. The emergency team tried to perform CPR on Tina during the ride to the hospital, but sadly, all of their attempts were unsuccessful. They weren't able to perform it fast enough and her heart stopped beating. Brian was terrified. He couldn't bear the thought of losing his wife. Her children, family, friends, they all needed her. One of the firefighters noticed how sad and worried Brian was and proposed another method that could potentially work and save his wife's life. Fortunately, his plan worked and he was able to restart her heartbeat by brandishing a deliberator. Tina came back to life but only for a couple of minutes. After her heart stopped again, the emergency team tried to restart it again, but all of their attempts failed. Tina flatlined again, but Brian refused to give up. He decided to fight until the end and begged the firefighters to keep trying to save her. Despite all the tricks and methods that the rescue team tried on Tina, her heart stopped three more times. There wasn't much else they could do to save her. Worst of all, they couldn't identify the reason why she flatlined in the first place. Even the doctors in the emergency room were shocked by her case. They had never seen anything like this before. According to the fifth resuscitation, by that point, Tina had been dead for 27 minutes. The doctors agreed to perform one more shock from the defibrillator on Tina, and this time, her heartbeat didn't stop. Her condition stabilized, but would she survive? The woman was alive but clearly exhausted and weak. Tina couldn't speak, so she pointed at a paper and pen on the table. Everyone quickly realized that she wanted to share something important. They handed Tina a pen and paper and waited for her to write the message. Tina attempted to write some letters but was too weak to do it properly. Even her loved ones couldn't understand her handwriting. They tried their best to interpret it, but they weren't successful. When Tina finally gained her strength, she shared her message with her friends and family. It's real, she said. No one understood what she was talking about, so Tina continued with her speech. She was referring to heaven. She explained to her husband that when she flatlined, she saw heaven. She said, it was so real. The colors were so vibrant. Tina also saw a bright light coming from the sky and pearly gates, but she wasn't alone there. Next to Tina was Jesus. He was standing near to the gates, radiating light and warmth. He was welcoming her to heaven and shortly after that, Tina woke up. She couldn't be more sure about her faith after seeing this, and her family members were just as stunned by what happened as Tina was. Her niece, Maddie Johnson, was especially touched by her story. She tattooed Tina's handwriting on her wrist as the memory of this incredible story. It had given me a tangibleness to an eternal hope that is not too far away, the girl explained. While some people found Tina's story inspiring and beautiful, others believe she just imagined it all, but their opinion doesn't bother Tina in the slightest.